Hey guys, Banyan's back in the lab. Um, so what I wanted to show you in this video, it's how the, the heat and cold process affect the plate. So um, this is the third video I make today. And then uh, right now the cell uh, have been cooling down since about two or three hours. Um, so what I wanted to show you, it's, um, it's those waves here in the stainless steel foil inside the plate, uh, inside the cell. So I don't know if you can see well. Um, let's see, maybe like that. It seems to me that the plastic that I choose to build my cell um, ta um, um, sh will shrink more and expand more uh, with the heat and shrink more with the uh, when it cooled down than the stainless steel. So right now the cell have cooled down, so it shrink and the stainless steel is not following, it. so it kink inside the cell. And when the cell is hot, after about maybe 30 minutes working, um, the the kink and the stainless steel disappear. So I'm gonna turn it on to show you. So I'm I'm right now set up on the lowest level on my power supply, which is about um, two amp, and then I'm gonna plug this here, and you will see that the plate are sparking together. So the gas production had started. Oh, and then uh, I unplugged this hose from the bobber here because I thought maybe um, what it's causing this stainless steel to shrink, it could also have been uh, the, the, the vacuum that can be made from uh, the cooling down of the water. Inside the plate, it can create kind of a, a vacuum and um, may put pressure on the, the stainless steel, but it's not the case uh, because I open it freely for the air to go in the plate and then um, nothing happened uh, I mean it it's still happening so I'm just gonna put it back here so you can see um, the water and the hose going down and whoop the gas it's in the bubbler and it's bubbling here in my HHO meter so if I let hit um, work like that for about 20-30 minutes it will warm up and those line here here and here will disappear but if I give too much power right now you will hear it it's like so it does spark and I don't know if you can see right here there's a little brown spot we could saw, um, I was able to see fire there earlier in the day and here too. This is where the spark uh, happened inside the cell. But we don't want to have holes, so it creates holes in, in the foil. So I don't know what, what to do. Um, what I've used to, as plastic to create the walls of the cell, it's... Um, um, I don't know exactly the kind of plastic is it, but it's it's what the they sell at home at uh, Home Depot to replace uh, uh, glass on doors, you know, like French doors and stuff like that. So uh, this is about uh, one eight tick. I glue together two layer of this with uh, crazy glue, um, which does a nice job. You cannot see the glue on on it. Uh, it's a perfect job. There's some bubble between both uh, of layers there and there but not much um, but it's not good so I will have to purchase I guess some um, Spartec polycast this is uh, about half of an inch three quarter of an inch maybe an inch depending the budget um, one inch thick would be the best this is what uh, I hope it's starting back to uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it it's it's parking between the plates. It's kind of it's painful. <laughs> it's painful to me because 
it's hurting my plate <laughs> it's my baby you know but well so uh, yeah I was saying that smart scarecrow used uh, Spartek polycast in his new design of uh, dry cell uh, we can see it on his uh, most recent video so this is it I just wanted to show it to you um, what's happened in the cell this is why it's so tricky to work with um, foil and then um, well let me know if you have any idea any other idea oh yeah I wanted to show you too that what I've used as spacer between my cell it's um, two layer of pipe wrap tape so on the tape itself it says 20 milliliter 20 milliam of an inch PVC tape so two layer of it actually give me when I take measurement of two layer of it with my uh, digital galliper it give me about 37 milli milliam of an inch plus the compression uh, minus the compression when uh, I tighten those uh, bolt here um, I guess my guess would be around 30 35 million of an inch between each plate so that's it that's what I wanted to share with you guys in this video I'm gonna turn this thing off because it's making holes <laughs> in, in the stainless steel if I let it spark too long so um, stay tuned and um, I will see you later on another video okay stay tuned this is Banyan signing out bye bye